Welcome to Kitty Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'm your host for this episode. In the last episode, we did a lot of things, delivered the message, and then died because of sheer stupidity and non-reaction, facing a clan fear, thinking it was not hostile. How could I think it was not hostile, you ask? Well, it did not attack us right away, and I'm an idiot. I must be an idiot, honestly. Well, let's real quick, not waste any time, and real quick take the Rising Force Potion over here. There we go. Take our message to our... Speak to its rightful recipient. You have the coded message. There is the message. I wait. I got the response. And I'm going to... Head back down because there is nothing more and there you see this is this is what we are walking on and this is the exit and this is what happens if you are if you're floating in the air you get stuck in the scenery and there we go I'm just going to real quick I need to find a bed okay well I want to see if I'm, let me see if, if I'm just out of luck or, it seems, seems like it, don't have enough magicka. Oh, now, can, now I can rest until healed, that's good. And I can do the same, and it will power, okay. There we go, look at it fly. And kill the guar. We're real quick going to pick that up and then head back. <laughs> oh, nothing. Nothing. There we go. Water walking. And we're heading back. I can already see the tower of Wolverine Hall. <sighs> That's disappointing. Especially since uh, we have to walk so far. Um, okay, that was... I actually wanted to not recharge the water walking. I wanted to recharge the endurance which does not work by casting water walking. Well, let's see if we can make it over there before we run out. And if not, the water isn't that deep over here. So we can simply walk, in, like, wade And the athletic skill increased. There we go. Okay, so not much time wasted. And luckily we did not wait for our endurance to be restored. So let's just look a little fishy. A slaughterfish that can't attack us. Okay, let's get back up here. And head over to the council house to deliver the message, get our two advancements, and pick up the next drawer core. However, There we go. The council hall.
and let's ask. Let's check all of them real quick. It is the first one. I got the coded message. There it is. And I want advancement. I want advancement. I should throw third one won't work. Let's get the next. Ugh, my eyes. Let's get the next mission, which is we need to deliver three potions of cure blight. There we go. Quick save. Learning by pain. One of the easiest ways humans learn or one of the most effective ways humans learn. But not everything should be learned that way. Does she maybe also have those? Those potions? Well, these are standard potions and standard potions don't work. It must be a potion off. And since they're alphabetically PQRS, wait a second. This better be important. Are they alphabetically ordered? Q no. QRS. Potion potion of yes, they are. She only has one, doesn't help me. And it was blight. I'm, as you may, may see, I'm so confused right now. Oh, there is one up here. An alchemist. Hello, Mister. I'm going. I'm. I'm just want to wanting to pick up some potions from you. Marking, recall, water breathing, water walking. Cure blight twice, cure blight. And then I'm going to take the one potion from the other girl over there. Saves us a, a little trip back and forth in the city. There we go, Arangair. I want that light potion that you have. But I'm only going to give you 30 gold because the other one sold me two for 60. So I'm not going to give you 31 for one potion. Now let's take a ship and I ho hopefully I'll remember where the ship that we take needs to go to. Yes, um, there. There is the guy on the ship. I think we are in Sedrith Mora, so we go to Telmora from there to Voss. And from there we can walk over to the Tower of Telvos. Travel. Telmora. And from here we could even walk over because it's just a matter of a potion of water walking, basically. Or a spell of water walking, that is, because there is where we need to go. So let's break out the spell and just head over. No need to sp unnecessarily spend the gold on a boat that we don't need. Marshmallows. I just want to really quick check. It's restore health. It's restore health stuff. That's convenient. And salt rice. Restore, not salt rice. Restore fatigue. Also not bad. So I just need to find a second component with restore health and restore fatigue. Well, anywho. 
let's get down to where we need to go. The Graceland's region. Mm -hmm. Ah, the nice starry night. I'm actually pretty sure that um, since I got the new graphics card, the graphics quality is better. Well, since it's on the way, finders keepers or something like that. And over here, this is our goal. So let's not try the same tower again. So there's even a guard here. But of course it is a House Talvani place. Okay, this stair leads into nothing. That's interesting. These stairs lead it down. So let's see, this seems a bit destroyed. Someone. Someone, something. And I press the attack button and it doesn't attack. That's also. <sighs> it was diseased. Well. I just wanted to check over here. If there is, because she said it is kind of peculiar and this is a peculiar place. I mean, this is, um, this is an imperial fort mixed in with a Telvani building structure. This is surely a new thing. Yeah. I can see that. It looks pretty weird. Ah, what the hell did he smoke when he built this? Or when he when he magically made this basically. I mean the grown houses do remind me of the game Albion where they also live in grown Wait an hour, that should refill our fatigue at least. Yes, it does. And let's try the southern tower again. With newfound fatigue and the spark spell on the ready. So I'm going to try again. And attack immediately. Now it's a scamp and we don't have enough magicka to cast the spell. Real quick, close the door. Do we have restore fatigue, restore fatigue? <laughs> we, have, we even have water walking potions. So we don't have enough magicka for that. Hello. Take your time, Nighty. Tell us it's a bit strange, just like Master Aridion. And it takes a bit of getting used to. Well, where can I find this Master Arion? If you want to speak with him, you must levitate up to the top of the tower and look for a door facing south. Well, Actually, I don't want to talk to him. I just want to deliver something to his apothecary. But thanks. This door leads back outside. This is the central tower. I'm, I'm pretty sure I need to levitate up this tower. If I want to speak to Master Arian, that is. 
Oh, no, that's interesting. I suppose I have a moment. What is it? What? What is that? You can look, but don't touch. Yes? Oh, sorry, woman. You can look, but don't touch. Yes, it's all dwarf make, and it belongs to Master Arion, so keep your hands to yourself. Thank you, goodbye. So this is, is this a museum of some sort? This is interesting. Ooh, dwarven weapons and armor. I've seen, I've seen loads of these. And this is very interesting. Very, very interesting. Smoke skin killer. Huh. What a name. Ah, yes, it is. Museum welcome. Welcome to my Dwemer Museum. This exhibition represents a lifetime of traveling and collecting artifacts from Dwemer sites all over Morrowind. Now we know where Edwina uh, got her inspiration. I'm always finding new things to display, so please check back often. I'm the wary of the centurion at the end of the hall. He's in a state of disrepair and is prone to unpredictable behavior. You're welcome, Knight. You're welcome, Knighty. I'm Smokeskin Killer. We don't mind visitors here in Telvos, as long as they're well behaved. Can I help you find your way around? Well, I'm looking for the apothecary, but... Well, I'm looking for a specific place. Mm -hmm. For services here, the Northwest Tower is the services tower. I guess this is where we need to go. This is still a small settlement. You might want to try Vos and Telmora to the east. They're larger settlements, which with more services. Ah. If you're here to see Master Arian or Tyridus Atelanian, Arian's mercenary captain, look for a door facing south onto a fungus pad, way up the air on a central spire vine south of the central sorry, south of the central tower. You can fly, can't you? Well not now, but Sometimes. Hmm. Interesting. A museum. Of all things dwarven. I already forgot the direction that he gave us. There is someone in a dwarven. Oh, that's actually looking pretty good. There's there's a guard. That's that's funny. There's a guard in his cell. <laughs> Who's there? Goodbye. <laughs> that's good. A guard in a cell. Ah, that's the Imperial Museum, and that guard is actually a piece of museum equipment. That's neat. The services tower, and we finally found it. And there is Andil. Hello, Andil. I've been told. Welcome to Telvas, Nighty. I am Andil. Master Arian is our patron mage lord and Telvani counselor. As you can see, Telvas is a mixture of old Telvani and new imperial styles, just like our Master Arian. Can I help you find someone in particular? Well, to be honest, I was trying to find you. Oh, me. Why is that? Well, I've got some potions of cure blight for you. Did Master Ian send you with more potions of cure blight? Yeah, here they are. Good, thank you. This will help. I can spare a few other potions. Why not take these? Thank you. And then we have restore health and restore fatigue. Mm, let's see what he offers. Potions, also. Can we barter with him? Uh, no, sorry. Can we get spells from him? That was, that's what I wanted to see. Hmm. Ah, there it says 15 points. Absorb health. <laughs> no. No. 
I would have bought a spell if it was um, flying, so lev levitation. Anywho, I brought the potions to where I should bring them. Let's try just heading out of that tower. Just, um, you know, going downstairs until we hit, hit the door. Oh, who are you? An enchanter. There we go. Or enchantress, I guess. Somewhere to sleep. Well, these beds are owned. And this is the exit. This is what I've been looking for. Really, this style mix is really weird. And there we are. Back on the ground. Okay, well, let's head over to Voss. Get a bed, get some rest, and ask around if we if we have if there are some duties that we can perform for the locals. Because that's always helpful. So this is the town of Voss. Guril's place. This looks like a tavern of sort. Yeah, it does look like a tavern. Oh. Alonis Enerim has a cottage to sell if you're looking for a place to rest. A cottage. River's Edge Cottage is up for sale. It's just at the end of the main street near the temple. Well, there's a temple here. Well, we could also... Well, we do already do have a temple. Um, yeah. Already have the temple quest. Healing the blight disease. Hmm. Why am I suddenly so tired? Not many visitors in Voss. Well, don't fret. Now you have me. Farmhouse. More farmhouses. As they said, this is a farmer's village, so it does make sense that there are lots of farmhouses over here. This is River Edge Cottage. Okay. Let us... I don't think that there are any quests over here. So maybe we can find a place to rest within the tower of the ship station harbor thing. And yes, that's an official word, ship station harbor thing. And I don't should not forget to quick save every now and then. head up here and see if in here in the trade post if there is a bed Varro trade house Mr. Varro do you have beds here yes well 10 gold thank you very much the bed is mine I'm going to enjoy my stay, certainly. Now, since we have enough money, I, I will go over and rent out the beds instead of just s heading out of the cities. We can now afford to sleep in comfort. 
Smoky Morph. Well, good night, Smoky Morph. Ah, a good night's rest. And we are ready to head on. Thank you for the bed, it was most comfortable. Ma'am? Ah, there's nothing better than the fresh air in the morning and the sun shining on your fur, warming it up, making you want to purr. Now we have to go over the dreaded water. Well, actually, I am a kitty which which loves the water, to be honest. I love water and I do love fire. So, man, can you take me back to tell Mora? Or even Sedrith, directly to Sedrith Mora? Thank you very much. Thanks for taking me here. This is very good. I'm going to just take the next quest of the Talvani Council. Talvani, Talvani, however. Sir? Go ahead, I oh, I just wanted to greet you. Is there something I can do? Oh, they are also nice. They're asking me if they can do something for me, even though I didn't talk to them. Well, I'm just heading for the council. And you know what, I got these, all these arrows. Oh, okay, they don't weigh much, perfect. I still got my alchemy set, okay. I did not put that somewhere. Um, I have two restore health I items, so I'm going to real quick Do this. This uh, does increase the weight, I guess, because uh, when I brew a potion, I add water or alcohol or something like that. But on the other hand, it also means that I'm uh, increasing my alchemy skill, which is very handy. So before we end this episode, we're going to ask Master Arian for another task, or rather, his mouth. Yes, I did deliver the Cure Plight potion. And it'll notify me that he was satisfied with the potions you brought him. Please take these 500 drinks, and with thanks from my patron, Master Arian. So how about some advancement now? Yes, we find you worthy of a law, man. So we are now a man of the law. How about some more advancement? I cannot advance you to a mouth. You must find a patron in House Telvani. Oh, so the next level is already a mouth. What a patron? My patron, Master Orion, is quite open-minded. You might ask him. If Orion becomes your patron, I can stop being Orion's mouth here on the council. Perhaps I can get some research of my own done. See, he actually wants to step down. Okay. Arara? Do you want course? Yes. Oh. Okay. She does not she still does not have any course. Do you have any duties for me? The mouth of Archmagister Gothran. I want more course. Oh yes. Some questions for Baladas Demnevani. Three questions. Bellara Stemnevani lives in Arv's Drellen, which is in Gnesis. You can use the Major Skill Teleport Service to get to Aldrun and then take the Silstrider there. Go there and asking about the disappearance of the dwarves, Dwemer artifacts, and the Dwemer language. You don't have to get an answer from him, simply asking the three questions is enough. Okay. So let's head to Gnesis. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm the questy guy. And I would say before we head over to Gnesis, just leave the house here. 
I'm going to quit this recording, stop this recording, and we are going to see each other in the next week, next Monday, on Morrowind Monday. Bye-bye.